So I am going out for the first drive with the car. I just drove down the street uh, to some nicer roads. I haven't really stepped on it yet. The first thing I can uh, see right away is the gear ratio is super tight. So even driving at 60 kilometers an hour, I'm about in fourth gear at 2,500 RPM. At those speeds, you can hear the changed exhaust note from the Catalyst manifold. There's no drone coming from it. It just lets you know it's there. So the gear ratio is definitely way shorter uh, in this car. It'll be super interesting to see how it's going to drive. Plus the exhaust note, it's going to be nice to see how it sounds, if it added any more power. And it's going to be just great to see and to feel this car. I haven't driven this car for over six months now. So super excited to be back behind the car um, after all the mods I've done over the winter especially the latest two ones, the uh, exhaust manifold and the transmission, huge mods. Hopefully everything turns out good. And uh, basically let's just go and see how it drives. So right away, just the clutch feel is surprisingly different. Just changing the release bearing. I didn't expect the clutch to feel different, but it feels a lot nicer. I didn't realize how much the release bearing was on its way out. And just having the different release bearing just makes the clutch feel better. Now back to the gear ratio. Um, like I previously mentioned, the gear ratio is a lot tighter. Now I'm making my way to 100 kilometers in an hour and I'm at 3000 RPM instead of being at like 2200 RPM. So definitely a big increase there. Plus driving, I get to try out the uh, steering wheel so I can confirm that the Cruise control does work. So it does work, but somewhat using different buttons. Also, at night, the steering wheel light doesn't come on. But apart from that, it's great. So I'm in second gear, about 40 kilometers an hour. And if I just roll into it. Revving the car out, you can hear the engine scream to higher RPMs. Through the exhaust, but mostly still from the cold air intake. It's hard to say just how much power modifying the exhaust manifold did, but it certainly increased throttle response. And as far as sound, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Yeah, the car definitely has more torque. It just keeps on pulling a lot more instead of, I guess, dying out and power. Since the gear ratio are a lot shorter, it's a lot nicer to go through the gears and to be able to just change the gears more often to get to, let's say, 100 kilometers an hour or 120 or whatnot. One thing I did notice after driving the car a little bit more is that it revs way faster to the point where it feels like it's missing some higher RPMs. I guess I have no choice but to get it tuned now. Usually I had to go down all the way to third gear. Now I can be in, in fourth gear in higher speed corners to pull out. And there's still torque. There's still power to pull the car out of the curve corner. Essentially, the car is a lot more engaging to drive. If you ever drove a Miata, it's the same feeling. You might not necessarily be going fast, but it's fun. You can rev out each gear without worrying about going above the speed limit. So I gotta say, I'm very pleased with the mod so far. The car feels a lot more responsive. It feels a lot torquier and it feels funner in the sense that, in the same sense of Miata is funner because you gotta change more gears. You gotta, you're, you're constantly rowing through changing gears because it, the ratio is so close now for the negative impact of this mod your fuel economy can be affected on the highway i say can because like the previous gear ratio it depends what speed you drive i found since i did this mod on the highway i usually don't go above the 100 kilometers an hour to stay at the 3000 rpm mark also, being catless probably helps with the fuel economy. But again, on the drawback side, 
I did get a check engine light even with the O2 extenders. All that to say, I haven't really seen a tangible difference in the fuel economy. So I haven't really seen that much of a drawback with these mods. <clears throat> so, was it worth it in the end? Well, I think it was. The car's a lot more engaging to drive, the gear ratio is way shorter, and very similar to a Miata, it feels a lot more alive. Now, cost-wise for the transmission swap, of course, I personally bought a full CX-5 to do this swap and basically double the labor to get the transmission in both cars. If I were to have bought the transmission outright from a record or a junkyard, I would have probably paid around $2,000 Canadian. That's where the price we're hovering for CX-5 manual transmission because it's a very rare uh, transmission to get. That's why I actually bought the full car. Doing so, I'm hoping I'll be able to sell the car for even profit. So technically, I should be able to make money by doing this mod and flipping the CX-5. So overall, I'm really happy with this mod. It really wakes up the car and it basically makes it a completely different car to drive. So along the lines of something that drastically improved the car's overall feel and handling, you can go check out this episode right here where I install full polyurethane bushing in the rear suspension of this car. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.